the coffin coming out now. For the first time. This is a bearer party of the 1st Battalion Grenadier Guards carrying the coffin onto the gun carriage. Why is the ceremonial aspect so important, Robert, to people today? Well, it's, it's deeply moving, I think, what we're witnessing here, Robin, but it is important because it, she served all her life, really, as a public servant. She was known as... as she had such an important role and central to people's lives, and I think that she had... As Commander-in-Chief, you see her there surrounded by the Royal Navy. She was so important there, but also as the head of the nation, when, when the pandemic was hit and people were nervous and worried, the Prime Minister was actually sick himself. It was the Queen that spoke to the nation and helped calm the nation at a time of need. And she did it in such style, in the way that only she could do. Referring back to the time of the war and saying, you know, we'll meet again, that famous Vera Lynn song. And I think that really did calm people, actually. And um, she served with such distinction, I mean, all her life, she sacrificed so much for so many people, including the sacrificed family moments, sacrificed so much. Deeply moving moment. And we're reminded that the Queen signed off on everything you're seeing. Absolutely, these were her plans. We see the um, crown jewels on top of the coffin there, the imperial state crown, the orb and the scepter, symbols of power and sovereignty. They will remain on the coffin until the final moments before it is lowered into the royal vault. Much later in Windsor. She talked about the crown herself, famously, the weight of the crown. She said it was a good thing that she and her father had similar sized heads <laughs> when she first put the crown on. But she, she said you had to hold the speeches up, bring them up to you instead of looking down because the crown weighed so much, nearly two and a half pounds. That's exactly right. She described it as heavy and actually she didn't wear it in the final few years of her reign for that reason. She wore a different, the diamond diadem instead. But this but what you touched upon, David, Victoria, and Robert, her humor, the Queen's humor. It was something that was very, um, put people at ease, and people at times were, were surprised by her humor, especially in her latter part of her life. Definitely, and actually she did some of the most daring things in the latter part of her life. We remember when she pretended to parachute into the Olympic Games, just before, not long before she died at her Platinum Jubilee, we had that wonderful moment with Paddington Bear. She had that sense of fun right up until the end. And she also very keenly understood, I think, what people would enjoy. And that was a big part of, of her character.
help but to give you chills to see the family uh, for the first time walking in the procession. Uh, King Charles III, obviously, right next to him, Princess Anne, who has taken on, you know, a larger-than-life role, given uh, how steady she was, how quiet she was, dignified all these years performing her duties in the royal family, and she was the one who traveled beside her mother, uh, Queen Elizabeth, since her death, and she released that public statement, which I thought was so telling, grateful for her final journey with her mother, but also thanking the people of the Commonwealth. She said, perhaps we took for granted just how much our mother meant to them. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.